Hey guys, what's up? So, in um, today's video, I am melody texting with my older cousin. He's like second, twice removed or something. So he's older, not like my age. And um, we're at these old mining cabins. One has already collapsed. And then just up the little hill is this one. And um, just an old miner's cabin. And my uncle, years and years ago, he stayed here um, when he was mining. So, it's kind of, we can't really detect because, um, what, at a lot of old houses, the, um, floorboards would have a little crack and, like, coins or something would drop down, so, yeah, it's <laughs> not very sturdy, but the, um, yeah, there used to be an old refrigerator, right through there there's like a little kitchen another area out there and not many old cans or anything out here but you know there's kind of an old flat area down in there that we can go down i have my um at pro and stuff and my cousin um um his brother that melody text he lives like in the middle states he sent him the equinox 600 and the Garrett um, AT Pro Pro Pointer, so he's got some um, good stuff. So um, oh yeah, see here's some quartz. Nothing neat, no gold in it or anything. Just some pitch on it that I now have on my fingers. But um, yeah, here's here's more. They just sample it and look at it. So uh, we'll see um, who gets the better finds. He's just starting out, so um. I'll, what we're gonna do is if I get like a good signal, I'll say, hey, what signal does this ring up on your Equinox? And he'll say, oh, he's he's kind of getting it, putting it together, you know, coins like quarters or twenty eight, and um, I, I, I tried it out at his house and I found a penny in a bullet casing like five in five minutes, so um, yeah, we can go down in there and. See, see what we can find. All right, guys. So we just it is. I think you probably just bend it back and forth a few times. <laughs> we just walked back and um, the I got my cousin's Equinox 600 and I swung it over and I got a target just to make sure it was ground balanced. And um, I got a license plate and it's from 1932. And I sort of found it with his, but then I dug it up with my stuff. But <laughs> 1932 Oregon license plate. Found it with his technology and used my lash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That is... <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Oh, well, let's keep on going. All right, so I haven't really found anything since that license plate. But um, we're, the houses are way up there, and I came all the way down here, kind of in this little open area. And uh, after this, we're going to go to a park, so hopefully get some coins and maybe some toys or something like that then we're gonna go back to my cousin's house where he found a civil war button and there's an old homestead so uh just get some easy digging and easy targets clean targets there so uh there'll be hopefully some good stuff to come later in the video all right guys so now we're at the park there's a little volleyball pit over there and uh we'll get started get some easy digging and Hopefully some good finds. All right, guys. So with the uh, Equinox 600, I just found this really old shotgun shell, or uh, not shotgun shell, just shell. I mean, there's no writing on it, and it and it doesn't like taper down. I mean, there's like nothing on this, and this is um, this park is called Indian Mary, and it's the last Indian reserve. So I mean, you I don't know if you can like look down there. They might not be able to, but I mean, this thing looks old. Like, maybe from the Indian War that was here. So, uh, it's pretty neat. Keep on going. Alright, guys, I just got something to be pretty crazy. So, I'm at my cousin's house now. And, uh, we're down this field, and he found a, um, he found a, uh, Civil War button along those posts out there that he was digging. And, uh, I was getting, like, a 67, and I found these like two rings and then I find this little flat piece and it is this the thing that's inside it is crazy 
Okay, look at this. It is, um, it says Paris Garden. And then it says Mary Rigid, Rigard. And then it says Perimfuar at the bottom. And it's got this lady on it. I mean, that if that's not a crazy find out. My hand is shaking. That's crazy though. Mary, Mary Rigaud, Paris Garden. That thing is crazy. Man, this is awesome. All right, we'll keep on going. All right, so my cousin, he's been digging this signal for a while and we got all this dirt out and it's we finally can feel it down in there and it's just a big old ax head or split mall. One of them, one side is clean and the other side is just jarbled with rust. But thing's pretty heavy. And I really wonder why one side is so clean. Yeah, see, I got that stuff on my hand. Yeah. From it. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. So probably if you thought back, Jim, probably one of the boys broke your split mold and they threw it in the creek to get rid of it. Joseph did it. And here we are. I know it. Exuding <laughs> the evidence. All right, guys, so here's the wrap-up. Um, today's finds, these were the pearl finds and... These um, were my, um, uh, what's it called, um, Equinox 600, Ugh, I couldn't think of it. So um, this is obviously a very old casing with no um, thing, nothing written on there than this. And I, uh, actually, I did find this penny with the Equinox. And then uh, my AT Pro finds were... The 1932 license plate, I thought was a crotal bell, part of a crotal bell, but obviously it's not. And then uh, a little old pin, the axe head in the creek, and then um, I looked this thing up. It's actually a um, stamp. They would actually put this on their box of goods. It's a company from um, France by this lady named Mary Rigard, Rigoud, and it's from Garden... Garden Paris, Raffroom, Bar, wait, what is it, is that a B? No, P, Par, Parfumer, whatever, it's uh, like a perfume, and uh, they sold like shampoo and stuff, so that was like a little stamp, so uh, pretty good finds, I don't know what my cousin found, I don't think he found too much, he's still trying to get used to his Equinox, and we didn't really go a lot, but uh, yeah, had fun, and thank you guys for watching.